Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today I'm going to be doing a suspension overhaul on my car and I've been meaning to change out my suspension for the longest of time. I made a video like a couple months back like debating on whether I should do a coilover or a back setup but ultimately end up going with another coilover setup. The main reason why is because I did some research and I'm like the way my driving style is and my comfortability of things I'd rather just stick with the coilover setup because if something happens with the coilover setup the most that happens is like a blown shock or something and it'll just be leaking oil or whatever but you can still drive it home but if you have a blown bag on a bag setup then you're pretty much stuck on the side of the road waiting for a tow truck. I finally decided to go with a Silver's coilover and everybody <laughs> pretty much stayed like hey who the heck is Silver's and I gotta go through this whole spiel of like who they are blah 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 and pretty much they're a company that's been around since 1999 and they finally started uh, producing into the US or shipping into the US. So I went ahead and ordered a set it came quick as heck like within five, five days yeah yeah like five days from order and it came that quick like generally they really take like a whole week two weeks or something just to send out a darn call over. anyways you could go ahead and have like a custom setup and it'll still be within that time frame because in the they have their own factory where they build everything in one spot they're not sourcing anything anywhere else and also wanted to stay with the stock setup i didn't change any custom spring rates or nothing like that because i wanted to see how i feel on the car so i can get my honest review later on once i put some miles on it and see like hey is this the real deal kind of thing in the future most likely i'm gonna go ahead and get a custom spring rate setup and throw on some um what's it called swift springs throw some swift springs on it because i know <laughs> you throw swift springs on anything and them things right good so it came within five days and it looks very well packaged I got the what we call plastic over it with the straps. So it had the sending information right here and all that good stuff. Took that off already. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some clippers and snip these apart. The wrapping is off and this is how it looks. I know y'all really don't care about how the box looks or anything, but yeah, it's pretty spiffy. So we're gonna go ahead and take the So far, so good. So here's the rear springs. The adjuster. These are the fronts. And these have dampening and camera adjustment. Just what I needed. Comes with nuts. Let's see how this works. It looks pretty good. And that's the other side. These, I would assume, would be the rear shocks. So, this is in fact the rear. So, 24 levels of adjustment. And yeah. Nice. And up here is the dampening adjustment. So up here would be the top of the shock tower and then underneath the little piece, uh, underneath the car in the wheel well, this is where you'd adjust it from. So it would be like underneath here that you could adjust the dampening. So under here is the owner's manual and a little Allen key to lock in the collars right here, spanner, and like sticker, yeah. so they got a sticker in there also, so looks complete. Have the rears out right now, everything came out pretty good, the only damage I saw was right here, we got some rust, and yeah, the shocks need to be replaced because I was able to push down on the shock, and it wasn't really holding its firmness. Compared to what I'm trying, this one, I can't even move it, so I was trying with all my might. So these I can actually move, move, but not these. So looking at it, everything looks um, well thought out. The one thing I like is right here, it doesn't use a, 
was it the channel lock system so use this bolt right here loosen it adjust it to where you need to go and then tighten it back down so if you compare over here on other coilover setups they generally have these locking collars and these locking collars is a pain in the butt man like sometimes it's like trying to adjust them and turn them and it, yeah it's like too much stuff to do to get everything adjusted right so i have the eccentric bolt with a mark with a permanent marker so that way when i reassemble it i could go ahead and uh not really mess up my camber settings there's one thing that i noticed and it was the kit comes with this piece that piece and right here these washers so right here would be underneath the undercarriage inside the wheel well and then i reused this piece off my old suspension for these like rubber bump stops so this would go up into the car so i have this one like so and then put this up inside the car and then when i'm inside the car on top run this down on here like that then push this uh washer and then tie it down like with this bolt so that way i'll ensure that there's no noise or anything like that rattling around because the main thing i wanted to see was since there's a hole inside the wheel well here is the opening and if you put the shock stem up in here it's pretty much smaller than this opening so it'll just be rattling around so with this inside here and the shot going through this part right here it keeps it centered and flush so that way there's no rattling around or anything like that i went ahead and blasted through the install so it's done right now so the fronts are in camber adjusted out and yeah on the first try i think i got it pretty good i'm only like a half inch uh too high so i might just drop it down a little bit but I'm just gonna wait for it to settle and see where we land. The rears is like pretty much perfect. So I might have to raise it up a little bit, a half inch or so. But yeah, I'm just waiting for it to settle. So here you can clearly see the how big of a gap it is. So the suspension install went great, everything fitted up good and yeah, um, I can't wait to drive on this. But the only thing is, since I have that tire that has like a leak in there, I gotta bring it to the tire shop and see what's up with it and then I can finally do some like actual driving around on it. But I drove around the block with it and it felt pretty good. So it's a way big difference from the way <laughs> my old suspension were. But my old suspension was like pretty much beat, they were like on their last legs. So. Anything I believe would be way better than what I was riding on before. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.